Hi everyone, how are you doing? It's time for another Friday check-in. Part of me thinks these whiz round really, really quickly, and then there's another part of me that thinks, man, this has been going a long time. So how are you doing this week? This week hasn't really been great for me, I'll be perfectly honest. Um, last week we had a leak in our bathroom which caused water to cascade through our kitchen ceiling and then on Monday our boiler decided to pack in. Thankfully we had a plumber who came out to look at everything on Wednesday and managed to fix all the problems really easily and also for a lot less money than we were thinking of which is always a plus. But it's just been a bit of a down week and I know that in the grand scheme of things my boiler breaking down really isn't a big deal that there are people in the world who have things way worse than me but everybody needs to know that when you are having a moment of struggling your feelings are valid how many times have you been upset about something and somebody says to you, oh no, come on, you're being ridiculous? How does that make you feel? Does it make you feel like, oh yeah, actually I am being ridiculous? Or do you feel really upset that your feelings are not being recognised and validated? Once you come out the other side, there is a logical part within your brain that will say, actually yes, I was being ridiculous. But at that moment in time, you need to know that your feelings are valid and that we do need to talk about these little struggles because sometimes lots of little struggles can lead up to one big one. And this is why it's so important to talk about these things. Now, I'm all about the positivity, you know I am. But I also think it's really important for us to talk about these moments where we don't feel at our most positive or our most happy. So what have I been doing to combat the iffy week? Um, number one has been Disney Plus. This has been a gift to my life this week. I have been watching a lot of Disney documentaries. Upon the recommendation of my friend Leighton, I have been watching the Disney Imagineering series, which is like a documentary series all about the Disneyland, Disney World, worldwide parks and how the magic is created, the history of all the parks, how they came together, how they're all slightly different and for me as a Disney geek I love it, absolutely love it. If you don't already know at Christmas this year I had my 20th visit to Disneyland Paris and I have trip 21 planned with the Academy in November this year so I'm not going to stop going to Disneyland anytime soon and I love finding out the history of the parks. I'm also a amateur calligrapher and um, it's one of my kind of creative releases and because life has been so busy since lockdown started, because you know we've been having to film classes, edit them, get them sent out, do one-to-one -one lessons, then get video theory tutorials sent out to people after they've been filmed and edited. I haven't picked up a calligraphy pen in weeks. I also bullet journal, and this is a really good way for me to kind of fuse my creativity with my love of organization. A bullet journal is kind of like a diary, planner, timetable thing that you create yourself. And it gives me an opportunity to be creative, but outside of the world of performing arts. So I'll show you a couple of my favourites in my current bit bullet journal. So this was the theme that I did for August last year. And then this was one that I did at Christmas and you can see you know I'm not a huge artist but it's it's the calligraphy side of things that I love and then what you do is you create your own kind of calendars and weekly plans and it's it's just a blank notebook that's all it is but I have filled it with illustrations and calligraphy but all stuff that will allow me to plan my life and honestly in this lockdown thing I have been so grateful 
so very grateful that we've had my organisation <laughs> skills because it, it's meant that I've been able to say to people, okay, it's in this folder. I know where it is. I can find everything I need. This was September's. So I've been kind of getting back into calligraphy to try and make sure that I've got some kind of creative release outside of what I'm doing within the performing arts. How are you doing? How has your week been? Anybody else had a bit of an iffy one? Anyone else had a really, really good week? Was it your birthday? Have you done something exciting? Please do let me know. In the meantime, Stay happy, stay healthy, keep practicing, and I'll speak to you next week.